button or restart it. So, oops, sorry. Can't you okay. turn it around so you can... Wait, turn it around. This? No, turn it over. No, no, put that. Like, like this. No, take it off. Yeah, do this. And... Oh, look at that. Okay, perfect. And you gotta push this back, though. Oh, and then, okay. boom. Okay, so, the NCAA games are going on right now. So, all people that are in college that play basketball, they are playing in games. So they travel around and they um, they play on like ESPN and there's highlights that come on. So our main goal do today... they dunk? They dunk. Oh, do they dunk? <laughs> their, our, their main goal um, is to... So I'm going to have you listen to like Wait. the announcer. Just listen to me for a second, okay? The announcer is going to announce this last second shot, okay? So it is the second half. And Northern Iowa is up by two. Yeah, okay? they And Texas has the ball. Yep, two halves. And there's 11.3 seconds left. Okay? Only 11.3 seconds. Okay? But I want you to listen, because we're going to work with dialogue today. You know how, like, last week when we were when we were reading, we kind of just were just reading? Mm -hmm. Yeah? And we weren't like, oh, so let's, for instance, let's say the sentence is, the cat's up in the tree, said Mom, excitedly. Okay. Oh. See what I'm saying? I know how to read with words now. Read with dialogue and expression is what we're really going to work on today. But I want you, this is what I want you, I just want you to listen to this, okay? And I want you to listen to the guy that's announcing this game, okay? Listen. This is the second. Texas will have a chance to tie or win it with a three. Okay, so so far you've seen the, the announcer change his voice, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let's keep listening. This is where it gets this is this is where it gets really good, okay? All of Listen. For the Panther, and he said he wouldn't take a timeout in this situation. Yeah. Okay, now what I'm going to have you do. Listen. Listen, what I'm going to have you do. Okay, so we have we have Texas, and we have you and I. So the purple's at you and I, and the white's at Texas. I want you to announce this last second shot as you're the announcer. Okay, okay here we go. That's going to be terrible. No, I don't care. I just want you to change your voice. I don't care what you say. Okay, I just want to hear a change in your voice. So okay? I can just say la 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 la. No. Wee. No. Wee. No. Okay. I don't know what to Ready? Say. Oh, do you want me to do it first? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Texas A and M has the ball, and he drives, and he shoots, and he scores. There's 2.7 seconds left, and you and I has the ball. They throw it in. Paul Jesperson shoots a half court shot, puts it up. Oh my God! It went in. Okay? That's all I want you to say. Do you think you can do it? Uh-uh. You can do it. I know you can. <laughs> it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard, yes. Okay, how about you just do the last the last second? The last shot, okay? <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Ready? Oh, no, no, no. <clears throat> Clear your voice. You ready? Yeah. Okay, sure. here it goes. <laughs> He crosses it up. He shoots it off court. He makes it. Oh my God! It wins my game. That's awesome. But did you see how kind of this, your voice was kind of the same? It didn't get louder. It stayed soft the whole entire way. Okay, we're gonna try one more time. Okay. Hey, and listen, we're in we're in the hallway. For, hey, we're in the hallway for a reason. Okay. You can. I'm gonna give you permission to yell. But not like scream. Okay? So you and I is taking out the ball. Okay? Repeat after me. You and I is taking out the ball. You and I is taking out the ball. And he passes it in to Paul Jesperson. And he passes it in to Paul Jefferson. And it looks and he shoots a half court shot. And he shoots a half court shot. 
And it goes in! You and I win the game! Wait, wait, can I say it's it's off a little bit? Oh no! Yeah, you can say exactly that. Oh. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. You and I has the ball. Wait. He takes it out. He passes it in. He passes it for Jefferson. He crosses the ball. He shoots. He scores! Oh! Yes! That's exactly what I wanted! Okay, now what I want you to do is I want you to start reading like See that. how it's like that? Why is it white? Because you have your thing going on like that. See? Okay. That's why I didn't show you. It's really okay. Okay. We're going to do that one more time. Okay. So I'll make is sure it I have it. Turn or is it still my turn? It's your turn. Ah. Okay, ready? Wait, 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 wait. Ready? Okay, that guy's gonna shoot first. Okay, go. Okay, they score. Um, they drive. They pass it in. Pass the ball, Jefferson. He crosses up. He shoots. It's off. But oh, he scores! Woo! Oh, the crowd goes wild! Exactly! That's exactly how I want you to read. Okay? So anytime, like, a character gets excited or um, someone is talking, you should change your voice, okay? So like this, dialogue. When a character is talking in a story, marked by the little asterisks on the top. Okay, so I want you to read that for me. Like what? I just want you to read it, just so you can get it in your, in your head. So let's say dialogue. Dialogue! When a character is in a story, is talking. Is talking. When a character is in a story, and a story is talking. When a character in a story is talking. When a character in a story is talking. Marked, marked by, by quotations. Quotations. Okay. English. So now I want you. I'm going to show you a couple of things here, and I want you to read it how it looks. Okay. Wow. Yes. Awesome. Dinner, dinner is ready. It's, it is raining. Wait. It is raining hell. It is raining hell. Why should I? Good. Awesome. Okay. Now we are going to start reading our book. Okay. Our book is called Long Shot for Paul. Okay. And this Are you book, to read it or am I? we're going to tag team it, okay? You're going to read a couple, I'm going to read a couple, okay? Okay. So, this okay. book is by Matt Christopher. Okay, off the table, sit on your bottom. Matt? Sit on the bottom. Matt. Matt Christopher, is this an author? Little Brown? Listen, okay? <laughs> this book is about Paul, and he is pushed by his brother to become the greatest basketball player of all time. No. Along the way of playing, Paul is trying to find himself and make new friends. None. He's trying to make new friends, okay? But he's not the greatest player. One thing, he's probably not the greatest player. Michael Jordan is like the greatest Curry mm -hmm. and LeBron James. Yeah. They've been in the NBA for like okay. five or four years. When you read this, you will find out one thing that Paul... That sets Paul apart from the others. So what? The, something that makes Paul a little different than the other players. Okay. So now we are working on dialogue and expression. Okay. So if someone is, so if someone is changing their voice or talking, we need to change our voice. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Do you want me to start reading the first page and then you read the second page, or do you want to read the first page? I'll read the first page. You read the second page. Okay. okay. Chapter 1. They were in the driveway, Glenn, Judy, and Paul, throwing the ba basketball to each other. Glenn saw that Paul caught the passes fairly well, but that he missed the hard ones. He would only have to improve on his catching. The guys on the Sabres team threw the ball really hard at times. You had to get in the, you had to, you had to in a game. And if Paul didn't learn to catch hard passes as well as throw them, he might never be able to play with the Sabres. Wait, Paul's right there. Okay. Um, is there like a quick pass, like how you just throw it, like you're throwing a stone at somebody? 
Um, kind of like this, though, like a chest pass. Yeah, I know, like you. Yeah. So, cause if they try to steal, it's gonna like hurt their finger, and they're just gonna lose it. Yeah. Try to get their finger, then you grab. Exactly. Okay, now I want you to read. Okay, hang on. It seemed to surprise even Paul. His eyes popped wide, his mouth dropped open, and he laughed. <laughs> That's funny. What, what do you think of that catch? What do you think of that catch? He cried. Nice, Paul. Um, Glenn shouted, breaking into a laugh, too. Just keep your eye on the ball. Paul played volleyball in Moreland, Moreland, the school of speed, special needs children that he attended. Att I'll come back to it. You know it. That was why he was able to catch a ball very, very well. But Morgan did not have a basketball court. Paul had never played basketball except at, I mean, here at home, where he played most often by himself and with Glenn. Dad had built the backboard into a garage only last week it was then that gleam one more sentence two more sentences it was then had decided to teach Paul to really play the game it would help Paul Okay. Great. Okay, where did you end up? Where did you? Oh, oh.